to uh, the super cotton butter set. We're going ahead and we're working on a little a little thing here. Don't worry about it. It's going to be just fine. <laughs> okay, I'm ready for my big scene. <laughs> It is pork rind day. And by pork rind day, I mean super pork rind day. Look at this. One rind. It's big pork rind. Mm. <laughs> it broke. We have a mystery box delivered to Ben. Mm -hmm. He said we can open it, but he's not here. Oh, it's totally for Bourbon Club. Ready? Catch. Good job. We are delivering some food to our friends that just had a baby. I feel like this is something we have some expertise in, in terms of how we liked food to be delivered. Do you have any tips for delivering food to newborn parents? Disposable containers that you don't have to remember are our primo. I mean, any food is appreciated, and we had so many people give us food, which was awesome. So, however you give it is nice. But if you don't have to remember to return a container, that's even better. Also, we got a lot of lasagnas. And I mean, lasagna's delicious, don't get me wrong. I was craving some carbs there for a while, but after a while, I was sort of, sort of starting to feel a little heavy. So, tried to fix something a little on the lighter, healthy side, but, gonna reiterate this. Any and all food is appreciated. So if you take new parents a meal, they're gonna be appreciative. I mean, they should be anyways. Okay, we're having barbecue chicken, sweet potatoes, and salad. So Luke's having some barbecue chicken, sweet potatoes, and some tomatoes. Here we go. Sweet potato, tomato, barbecue chicken, Just three guys in an elevator! Today is purge day at the office. Cleaning house. But also shooting a video. And let me just read you the passage because it is very reminiscent of how she often describes Harry searching for the snitch. Last night, Luke woke me up at like 1.30 and I fed him and I went back to bed and then I looked at the clock and it was 3.30 and I was like, I haven't gone back to sleep yet. This used to happen to me all the time and so we had Luke and then it was just like, I'm asleep all the time. I think when people are morning people, this is what they mean, that just when they wake up, they can't go back to sleep. This has been, this is, this has been me my entire life. I'm just like, I'm up, whoop, time to get up because there's no way I'm falling back to sleep. I kind of see the purge is still happening back there. I can't believe how much stuff we actually had in this office. I'm like, where were we, where were we keeping it all? Today is also the last day without Ben in the office. He's coming back from Vermont uh, this weekend. So next week we should all finally be back in the office again, which is crazy. We were actually talking to Jordan yesterday and I think since she's worked here, which has been, I think, eight weeks now, there has not been a single normal week where all four of us just had a normal five days in a row in the office, uh, except for the Blitz week we had, which wasn't a normal week because it was a Blitz week. So, I, you know, maybe, maybe normal is not being in the office. Maybe next week will be the not normal one, except, mm, no because I'm not going to be here on Friday, because we're going to New York for Beth's birthday. Pizza for dinner. Friday has frequently become pizza night at our house, because Earth Fair here will do $5 take and bake pizzas, and they're really good. And because of that, though, I have discovered an interesting new world that I didn't know existed until I became a dad, and that is the secret, the secret world, world of the secret dads. World. I couldn't resist this little outfit at the store today. Look, it's a skunk. I love it. Because <laughs> it's so he's got a stinky little butt. <laughs> So bad at cutting pizza. 
we're having pizza, so Luke is tasting pizza for the first time. Oh man, here we go. Preparation, we've just taken his shirt totally off. Are you ready, Luke? Do you have any idea what's about to happen? Baby's first bite of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it smells good. It does smell good, doesn't it? Oh yeah, is that good? Is that good? <laughs> I think he likes it. So anyway though, back to the secret world of dads. Oh my god, I definitely need to shave. Frankly, I'm not even sure I should be telling you about this. In fact, wow, surprisingly that made for better lighting. The secret world of dads is an unusual place that can sometimes only be accessed at various locations for certain specific amounts of time. Actually, it's really not that big a deal at all. It's just a funny thing I've started to observe in the life of daddom. Basically, it's whenever a certain uh, situation or set of circumstances occurs to a large number of dads at once, and they all end up in the same place for the same reason. So, for example, what keeps happening to me at Earth Fair on Friday afternoons is that very obviously many families have decided that Friday night is pizza night and a lot of moms have told their husbands to stop by Earth Fair to take advantage of the $5 take and bake and bring it home for dinner. Which results in a bunch of dads showing up at the same time and sort of exchanging this look with one another. Just... Mm, that's how most of the communication goes in the secret world of dads. The other time I really stumbled into this world was at uh, Daniel's graduation from a few vlogs ago, Luke's first road trip. Turned out right there, right in front of everyone, or right behind everyone, the secret world of dads was open again. Basically, uh, lots of people brought little babies to the graduation ceremony to watch because, you know, they super care about that stuff. But inevitably, a lot of them started crying and the people sent to take care of it were almost exclusively dads, so there was just this like parade of dads in the background carrying babies, comforting children, just making sure they weren't causing a ruckus for everyone else. And because they were in this secret world, no one could actually hear them. It was very effective, but there was definitely a lot of, yeah, mm-hmm, right, going on back there. So my question today is for all of the dads out there and have you ever stumbled into the secret world of dads? What was the situation? Let me know your thoughts in the towel section below. <laughs> Nah, 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 nah.